VI open up. Before we get started, this is a quick reminder that this channel now has an affiliate code with Bluestacks. Bluestacks is a free and trusted Android emulator that I used to play Azerland on my PC. I use Bluestacks to get better performance than my phone, and it also lets me record YouTube videos for you guys. If you're interested in downloading a good emulator so you can also play Azerland on your computer, click the affiliate link that you can find in the description right here. Now, if you all you have to do is download the Azerland through this description, so when you click it, you will get to this page. And then you will have to download this, and then Bluestacks will give this channel a small commission for it, so this is a very easy and free way to support the channel as I save it for a better microphone. Thanks for all the support that you guys have given me, and I hope that I can continue to deliver in the future. Now, moving on to the main topic for today. In honor of the Crimson Echoes rerun, meaning that there will be a lot of new ships to level up, we will now be going over all of the ways you can increase the amount of experience for your ships. By using these ships, I got my brand new Amagi over here from level 1 just two days ago, all the way to level 80. Now without further ado, let's get into the leveling guide. Now the most obvious way to get XP first of all is the dorms. You can find the dorms by going to the main menu and clicking HQ right here and then clicking dorms. Now the dorms are a place where you can get XP for your ships by feeding them food. And then in this time right here, they will gain XP periodically without you having to do anything. All you have to do is make sure the food is up and they will just gain XP while you sit back and do something else. This is definitely the best way to spend your gems if you're free to play, because if you expand the dorms you can go and level up more of your ships at once, meaning that they will gain levels without you having to actually battle or do anything. Now it also gives out a mood thing, as you can see here, the current mood thing. Now this is called the happiness bonus, and when they are in the mood range of 150 to 120, they will get a happiness boost, meaning that they will get 20% extra XP in the battle. I will elaborate on this later. Now if you do want to buy the second floor, do know that when you do go to the second floor, all of the ships here will not gain the XP bonus as in the first floor, they will only gain a morale recovery thing. This is good if you want to get the battle experience bonus, but you are busy leveling up your new ships in the actual experience tab on the first floor. It sounds a little bit confusing, but I will detail that later. Now you can also get more experience through this happy list level right here on the top right corner. Right now the higher number it is, the more experience that you will gain. The, if you don't care about furniture too much and want to maximize this comfort happiness level right here, so that you can get more XP faster, I would recommend buying all of the stuff that is the cheapest first, meaning all the furniture that is 20 gold, so I can't find any of these right now, but you would want to buy all of the furniture that is 20 of these housing furniture points, and then you'd want to buy 40 points, because then that will give you the most amount of comfort for the amount of furniture points that you are spending. Now, now the next thing is worrying about the food. Now I should go back to the first floor so that I can worry about food. The food that you would want to use to go and do these supply things is that you would want to buy the naval curries right here because this is the best option that you will have to go and get where you can buy it with oil instead of buying these other two higher rarity things where you have to buy it with gems. Now you can find these two things in the metal shop and the coin shop if you do see it, then you might want to consider buying it, because these give a massive XP boost, while this one gives a slight XP boost. These other three things right here you can kind of ignore, because they give no extra XP. As you can see here, this Royal Navy, this curry thing, gives it a 5% XP boost, while these, this Royal Gourmet gives an XP boost of 10%, and the full course gives an XP boost of 20%. Now you will want to go, if you have extra oil, to buy some of these Royal Navy Curries. Well, they're not really Royal Navy, they're just Naval Curries, because they give that a nice XP boost. This is basically where you're going to be feeding most of your ships almost all the time, unless you do happen to buy some of those things from the coin shop or the metal shop, the higher rarity ones. Now the next place to go and get experience is going to the Academy. And when you are a commander level 50 or more, you can go to the lecture hall right here, where if you click it, you can use it just like the same way as dorms, but there's a lesser experience game. The lecture hall basically has this bar right here, 
And whenever a ship that is over level 100 gets extra XP that does not contribute to its own level, it gets stored right here. And then you can use this XP right here for classes. And you can add your ships right here the same way as dorms. So let's say if I wanted to level up my Reno and my Hipper, or my Prince Eugen and Tour Takao and Graf, I could go and click Confirm, and they would be in here. You would click Start Class, and then it's the same exact way as the dorms. Over time, this XP bar will be transferred to them. They will gain XP, and every single day has a different type of ship, like today is Cruiser Combat. And on Sundays, the amount of XP gained in the storage is doubled, but you cannot have any classes going on. Now this is just a secondary way, it's definitely not as efficient as putting your main ships in the dorms, but this is another way to gain XP. Now the final non-combat way to gain XP very easily is through the Commissions tab, and clicking the 1200 oil commission. Now it could be a little bit less, or a little bit actually just a little bit less sometimes, but this is the final way and it's definitely the least efficient way to get XP with the amount of oil that you're spending. It will give a lot less experience with the amount of oil, so this 1200 right here. You could definitely use battles just the normal way and for that amount of oil you could get a lot more experience. For example, if I farm stage 7-2 with my Hugo Retrofit, I would get about 2163 XP per fight, as you can see. Now each battle costs 15 oil, and I do 3 battles per run, meaning that if I spent 1200 oil this way instead of spending it on a commission, that would be 63 battles when you factor in the extra 10 oil that it takes to start each run, meaning that I would gain approximately 1, no, 136,269 experience with that 1200 oil as compared to the only 1800 that I'd get from doing this commission right here. Now I know this is an extreme difference because most people would not use my farming fleet that is designed to minimize oil cost, but it does demonstrate that this commission is not oil efficient compared to the other battle way by just doing battles normally. If you do have a ton of oil lying around and are not in the mood to farm all day, then you should definitely still do this commission because it's much better than doing nothing with your oil. So the best ways to spend oil if you have max oil is either buying the naval curries and the dorms, or if you have too many naval curries like me, you can use this commission right here, get yourself some gold and some very good extra rewards like wisdom cubes, plates, and some other general parts and stuff, but it's just not that good and efficient for experience. Now moving on to all the combat slash battle bonuses that you get. Now keep in mind all of these bonuses do stack, so aim to have as many of these active as possible. The first to discuss is the mood bonus. Now you can see whether or not your ship has the mood bonus as talked about earlier in the dorms by clicking on them and if they have this green shiny face that says something good is about to happen, that means that they are getting that 20% extra XP when you put them in the dorms. Either floor does the same thing so just ma make sure that you are putting any ships you are using in battle in the dorms so that they get this nice shiny happy face happiness boost. Now the other thing that I'd like to mention before you hop into a battle is the flagship bonus right here. The flagship is the back center position. You can see this by the golden flag right above them. Now these flagship bonus will get 1.5 extra XP, but if they do die then you will lose the whole battle. And also if you have any battleships that with a good barrage, if you have to put them on the side because you were trying to level up some other ship in the middle to get that flagship bonus their barrages will not nearly be as effective than if you were to put them in the middle. Now moving on to the actual battles, people are always wondering why should I always farm the event compared to the regular stages when there is an event going on? Well during an event, first of all there is the enemy difficulty bonus, the one triangle means that you will get no extra XP, two triangles means you will get 10% extra XP, and three will be 20% extra XP. But this is the difficulty level. More triangles means that they are the harder uh, the ships are. Now the sirens right here, which are the humanoid enemies that you see only during events, they give you a massive 40% extra XP, and they also have better drops than the normal mob fleets. This is why it's always recommended to farm the event stages during an event, because the experience gained from sirens is much better than normal, and you also get the event currency, 
plus the chance to get that rare SR ship if you were lucky. So we can go and head on over to this Jinsu right here. So we can go and showcase the rest of the bonuses once we win this battle. That was my Meow Officer right here. Chipped off a little bit of the Jinsu's health. And let's quickly go and dispatch of this Siren. Now I'm using three of my vanguards that are all IJN because I'm trying to farm for Azuma right now. My Yubari is in the middle because she is giving extra XP to cruisers. So my Ibuki will get additional XP. Yes, and there's some ships that also give a small XP boost with their skills, like Yubari as mentioned. Amagi is in the back because she is getting flagship bonus, giving her that 1.5 extra XP. And the first thing that I'd like to mention now that we have beaten the Jinsu Siren is the um, battle rating bonus. I almost forgot the name. So if you get an S rank in the battle, which happens almost all the time, you'll get an additional 20% bonus extra XP bonus. I said bonus twice. Now make sure none of your ships sink or else it will turn into an A rank, which gives no extra XP. And if we go over, over here, you can see the rest of the bonuses. Now Yubari being a cruiser is giving herself a 15% extra XP bonus. This is because of her skill. Now Ibuki is MVP, so she is getting double the normal XP. Hidakaze is getting the normal XP right here. Now Ibuki is getting combined both the MVP bonus plus the happiness bonus. And, no, yeah, plus the happiness bonus and also Yubari's cruiser XP bonus thing. Amagi is getting 1.5 times the normal, as you can see, 1,000 compared to 1,515, by being the flagship. Now that is a lot of bonuses, but just make sure you are doing as many as possible, and this will get you the most amount of XP as fast as possible. Now finally, before the video ends, just to go and clarify even more, Yubari, as I have said in the battle, has an extra XP skill, as you can see, which increases the cruiser XP earned by 15% extra. Now you can put other ships such as Yubari, Amazon, or Hosho in and get some extra bonus with their skills, and that will make your XP go even faster. Now with that showcase out of the way, that will conclude my XP leveling guide. As a oh shoot, I forgot this was still here. Well anyway, as always, if you found this information helpful, consider dropping a like and subscribing. Don't forget to press the notification bell for my future uploads too. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions that need to be answered, and I'll try my best to reply. If you have anything else to go and say, leave a comment. And with that being said, that's all I have for this video, so have a good rest of your day. Happy Azerlane grind for this new event, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!